So, hello, 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 everyone. How are you? Welcome, my YouTube family. It's so good to have you here. And of course, my uniquely me ladies. Guys, I am so excited. I mean, you know me. I'm so excited. But of course, guys, um, this is not your usual YouTube um, video like you're used to. Um, and you know, here we talk about, we share the stories of women who have gone through trauma and transformation. You know, also on a Thursday night, we do our women in business series and guys that is set to become very big. But of course, I know a number of you have been asking, how do I set up my own, um, YouTube studio? And by now you should recognize that I'm filming from home, but in order to have a successful um, production there are some items that you will need in order to make it crisp and outstanding and beautiful and so I thought I would do this video to show you how I set up my YouTube studio I'm going to show you the instruments that I use and all the the pros and cons advantages and the kind of thing about them um i am living in jamaica as you all should know so most of these most if not all of the instruments that i use i had actually purchased online and imported here to jamaica now guys this is not a sponsored video so these are all well at least at this time when i'm doing it they are not it's not a sponsored video this is just me just sharing with you how i set up my studio and this is of course guys to empower um you who are thinking of starting a youtube channel and you're asking yourself should you start a youtube channel in 2021 my response to you is yes you should so it doesn't matter maybe you have an old channel that you want to resurrect as we would call it um you have just one video there or you started youtube simply because you wanted to assist somebody else um in terms of subscribing to other person's channel well it's not too late you can use that same channel to get started now guys one of the first thing that you will need to do is that you will need to have a gmail account right as you know google owns youtube so you will need to have a gmail account so as to be able to start your youtube channel it's free of course guys and that's why you are without an excuse in terms of starting your channel so once you get that out of the way having your gmail account set up your youtube account find a a, a, a creator name or username or whatever it is that you want to your channel to be known by i would recommend guys that you try to use a name whatever your channel is going to be about to input that in your 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 name right so for instance if you are going to be talking about food you may want to put something like foodie um jamaican foodie girl foodie you know <laughs> whatever it is um my channel is uniquely me um, with Simone Stewart and as you know if you look at my thumbnail you'll notice that I have my book up there because it's based on my book and then you'll also see a snippet of myself and someone sitting from one of my interviews so once you click on my channel you know exactly what my channel is about it's a YouTube it's a it's a interview format show and here on it you can expect to see things pertaining to women um you can expect to see an interview format you can hear see see stuff such as me talking about books um the process money and guys that's something else that i'm going into but it's all about empowering women so let's jump into now some of the actual instruments that i use for the channel and guys if you're getting substance from this please click the click the subscription subscribe button and of course the notification bell and don't forget to like share comment you know what your what what um what about this video excites you and of course if there is if you have a question or something else you'd want me to talk about um please feel free let me know put it down in the comment box all right so let's so guys first on my list of instruments that i use in my youtube studio are my lights guys you've heard it said over and over and over again the quality of your lighting is so important because you want your image to be nice and crisp and clear so for me i am using the newer brand that's n-e-e-w-e-r the newer brand now what do i like about this is that one 
it is uh, it, it changes you can change it when i ordered the, the set i think it's a set it's a set i got it packaged with carrying cases and it also you are able to change the dazzle you can change it from warmer to cooler or bright I, I don't know what you call it but you will see in the feature you'll notice that you're able to change it um from cooler to warmer from yellow to whiter i don't know the stands that they are on they are adjustable and of course guys this is multifunctional meaning it is electrical and i noticed to the back there are batteries as well it's easy to assemble guys like it's so super easy to assemble and it's also easy to disassemble not only that guys but it's you can carry it around with you right it's easy to carry around based on how it's packaged so it is um one of those so that's one why, why i chose that particular one all right um then we move to my mics i am using a lapel mic the photo welt brand in particular when i ordered that one guys i got two i got two mics two body packs and i got a wireless receiver what i love about this is that once i once it's charged i simply um i can attach it to the camera so if i'm out on the road and i want to record i can attach it to the camera and use it it does not need to be plugged in and like i said they are my lapel mics and these are so for instance if you're doing an interview format similar to myself the package comes with two mics so you are able to have one mic on yourself and one on your guest so again you're controlling your sound quality big on the list guys is my camera and so i am using the canon t5i yes i'm using the canon to canon t5i and i'm also using i interchange it from time to time with the canon hfg 50 4k but let's talk about the canon t5i so when i ordered that one guys i actually ordered that on craigslist fortunate for me i got a whole package so it was pre-owned actually um, but i got a whole package so it came with i got lenses i got at least four lens i got the zoom lens i got a 55 millimeter lens um and i also got two smaller filter lens and there were several filter covers in there as well and a bag i suspect that's how the first owner had it but it come it came with all of that now the canon t5i has a flip out screen it also allows you to put a memory card in it and if needs be you can also attach the mic to it it came with two batteries but i must say guys that what i notice is that the batteries runs down very quickly um, depending on especially if you are doing like for me i when i'm filming I'm, i film for maybe um six hours so it tends to run down so i bought myself a plug-in charger which is um branded for the canon camera so once i plug that in i can i can film all day long so of course the canon t5i uses um it has to be plugged in um for um no it doesn't have to be plugged in because it has the batteries what am i talking <laughs> and then the canon hfg 50 guys 4k that's a camcorder of course but guys let me tell you the quality the quality on this is so awesome i actually call it my road camera so once i'm going out it's easy because once i charge up those batteries and put it in i can also attach my mic it carries two memory cards i can film for a very long time without it um running out and of course the batteries are rechargeable so you as you're looking you're seeing all the details of the camera and believe me guys it's small enough it's very handy so it's not bulky you know um and so and they're able to be mounted on a tripod stand which is where i'm going next so instead of worrying that you know you have to be walking around and holding these cameras in your hand the entire time you need a tripod stand and i use i do use one um my tripod stand it's adjustable it is foldable it's easy to carry around and i also have a case 
for it it's best guys if everything if possible most of your items if you can have a carrying case or bag for them because I'm sure from time to time you want to get creative with your videos so you don't necessarily want to be stuck in your studio or at home you probably also want to do some outdoor videos I'm going to see at the end of this if we can do a uh, um, a tag of one of my um, a video we did on a vehicle um, to show you and that was outdoor guys we just packed everything up charged everything up and we ran out and we did a video on a 2021 Hyundai Creta so you'll see that at the end of the video next on my list guys is of course my computer i have a laptop i actually have two i have a laptop and i have a desktop and you're probably asking why do i need two yes you can actually do everything on one but again you if you're doing multiple videos and multiple things it's best to have one your laptop that you use for your live streaming or what we call your general media production that you can always throw in your knapsack and head on the road but when you come back in for your editing and stuff like that you may want to do that more on your desktop and that usually carries a lot more memory um, it's a lot more a little more workable and usable for what needs to be done so I have two um, I'm using the Dell brand in particular but again guys you can use I know a lot of persons are into their Mac because it you know it's so much more of a powerhouse but it's up to you um one other thing is you want to be very mindful of your memory memory space as well because guys video carries a lot of space so apart from relying on the space on the computer i also have an external hard drive where we store most of our things on i have a one terabyte um hard drive memory um, the Seagate brand in particular um, that's the one that I'm using um, but you will want to ensure that you have um, an external hard drive and also guys should your laptop or you know whatever computer you're using crash you want to make sure that you have your all your videos stored somewhere software now guys um so it's one thing to to film but you are also going to be needing to what we call your b-rolls and um putting your your logo and all different kinds of stuff on the screen and also cutting out because when you're filming you'll notice you have some moments in there that they're not necessary or you may have sound in there that you need to cut out or sometimes you may have somebody run across the screen or there's a freeze and so you need to edit those out now guys what do you use to do that are softwares the softwares that I am currently using for production of my videos I'm using DaVinci for editing I'm using audacity for sound and FL studio also for my sound editing I'm also using Canva guys and I'll do another video on Canva to show you how I use it to make my thumbnails and my flyers and all the different things that you see um, when you click on to one of uniquely me's um, videos guys we move on to occasionally to um, you may have a shorter version um, of your filming or your production so you don't necessarily need the bigger lights like my lights I spoke about earlier on you may be doing an interview or you might be doing a small coaching session or something to that effect I use my ring lights for those and I'm my ring light it has a funny name um, I don't I think I, I'll put the link down below in the comment box of the one that I'm using but it actually as you can see comes with two lights um so it is my i'm lit it gives me light all around right whether overhead because it's also adjustable it's on a stand that's adjustable i can also put my phone in it because it has a selfie well a kind of selfie stick area and so instead of setting up my cameras if like i said if it's just one small production or something to that effect i can just use my ring light it has the holder for my camera and i can connect that too to my laptop if needs be if i don't have uh electrical electricity so as to plug it in not only that guys it also comes with um some remote small remote controls that i can have controlling so let's say i'm filming by myself then i can control i have all the controls at my fingertip like i said the the the, it, the, the tripod stand it's adjustable so depending on what level i'm at i am able 
to adjust it and then guys um it gets because again you want to be very creative sometimes you might want to run some b-rolls too um, which is very important to make your your video a little more interesting so i have my selfie stick and as you can see guys um it is easy to to adjust i can adjust it from all different angles um and use it i'm i'm absolutely loving this selfie stick adjustable comes with a nice little tripod it's just absolutely amazing and last of all guys you need to make your environment very cozy are cozy for want of a better word you also want to brand it if you have a brand and so you'll notice i have my uniquely me cushions in the background um at some point in time because i want to be able to showcase um or for if you click on you know you're at the right place so guys that's all of the things that i'm currently using to make my youtube um a studio or to create my youtube studio and be able to produce these awesome videos that you have been seeing most of these items i am able to um, pack them up throw them in my car and hit the road and be able to film on spot wherever it is that I am if there is no electricity for the most part I'm still able to do my filmings and so um, I hope this video was very informative for you I hope it will stir you to now go ahead and start your own channel and guys these things it's not just YouTube there's Instagram there's Facebook there's so many things that you can be doing and all of these items that I just shared with you are accessible easily accessible um, small enough to be able to carry around and to get you started like I said this video at this time was not a sponsored one and so all the links I will put them below but note it's not a sponsor just for you to be able to find them um, lastly guys like I, I think I mentioned before I'm in Jamaica and all of these items I actually got them I off Amazon or Craigslist or some other um online shopping store so thank you so much again please let me know if you found substance in this video click the like button subscribe button hit the notification bell you name it comment thank you bye bye